Welcome to this tutorial on how you can create 3D animated videos for your YouTube channel or for any promotional purposes within minutes with zero technical expertise. Hello guys. My name is Cyan. I am a marketer, SEO enthusiast and YouTube creator. Today, I will just show you an amazing tool that I use in my business for creating animated explainer videos. Just like the one you are seeing. Also, I have a special coupon for you. Please stay till the end and I will show you how I created this. Zero skills needed. See you on the demo. Now, I'm going to use this tool called Create Studio Pro because it can be available at a one-time price. Normally, it sells at a recurring price, but I have a deal for you from where you can grab it at a one-time price. So stay tuned till the end of this video because during this video, at any time, I'm going to reveal the deal. All the other competitors that it has, like Powtoon, Animaker, Render Forest, or whatever you name it, they are going to charge you monthly for creating this kind of animated videos. Plus, it gives you a ton of templates as well that you can readily edit to create professional 3D videos that you can sell on any marketplaces that you wish to. With that being said, all these templates are available under this template over here. You can see there are a ton of them, but I'm going to show you exactly how to create it from the scratch like the one that I had created. So, with that being said, now it's time for me to actually give you a walkthrough of the tool and let me show you how easy it is to work with and create your 3D character animation videos within minutes. So for that, we will go over to click on new project. And in here, you can create different kind of project. As you can see, you can create video ads, character explainer, doodle, scroll stopper, YouTube end card. You can also go ahead and create logo openers, stories, promotional videos, lower third slideshow, video meme, stomp teaser, and different social media videos as well. But for this example, we are going to limit ourselves to a blank video and I'll show you how you can create a 3D character animation from a blank project. So just click on blank project. And in here you can see you can create videos in different aspect ratio. Now this is a rectangular one that is 16 is to nine, the one that you create for YouTube. Then there is the square one that you can use for your Facebook and Instagram. Then there's the story format. And then there is a custom format as well where you can have this as a custom. So we will actually go for the YouTube resolution. And in the canvas color, we can choose whatever color we wish to. But for now, let us keep it as white and let us create the project. So just, so as you can see the, project has been created. So let me give you a brief quick overview of the working area. So this is the workspace that you are seeing right up on the middle. Here we will work with the characters, the scenes, and we will create all the stuff. So all the magic will happen here. Now, if you go over the left hand pane, you can find the media that you can use. You can use the studio elements. You can use music. You can use transitions, effects. You can have components. And then if you expand this, you are going to get a couple of more things that you can use. You can use my scenes and you can use video builder. Now, I am not going to go through all of them in this short video because this is more intent on how you can create animated videos. If you wish to take a look at the entire tool create studio pro then i will leave a video link down in the description from there you can take a look at the review of create studio pro with that being said uh, now it's time for us to actually show you how to do the stuff so for this we will first of all go ahead and go to studio the first thing that we need is actually a background within the scene. So we'll go over to the background. Now all the done for you stuff you can find under this studio, right? You can see background characters. All of these are here. So just go for backgrounds. Then since we are creating a 3D animated video, we will choose a 3D background. Now there are different kind of backgrounds that are available as you can see over here. But for this example, we will create a 3D one. So herein is the TV set. This is exactly the background that we had used for the video. So let's drag it over here. So as you can see, the background has been added, right? So now what we need to do is we need to insert a character, right? And the character should be coming from this side and entering into the scene. That's what happened, right? So let's again go over to studio. And this time we will actually go back to all and then we'll go to characters because we are searching for characters right now. And then we'll go to the 3D character because we are searching for a 3D animated video. So we will definitely use a 3D character. If you were doing a 2D one, then you could have chosen a 2D character as well. There are 2D character available. If you go over to the flow, then you can see all of these guys are 2D characters that are available. However, we are limiting ourselves to the 3D ones. So let's go and find a character that is suitable. So. Here you are. This is the freelancer that we had used. So we just need to drag him. So as you can see, the character has appeared on our timeline. Now, if we minimize this, 
And if we take a look at the timeline, this on the bottom is the timeline that we will play around with. So if we just go over here, you can see that there is the background and there is the character and here is the action that it performs. So currently it's waving. So if we take a preview, you can see the guy is waving, right? Now with that being said, the character actually appears on the middle of the set, but that's not visible. The character has to walk in, right? So the character should appear out of the screen on the first position and then walk into the center of the stage. That's how it happens. So what we will do is that we will actually position it to till the end of this canvas just like this and then we will actually add an animation to the character so just click on add animation and in here we will select position so you can see these dots appear over here so these are the initial position and this is the final position how to play around with it i will show you don't worry now we want to drag it till the end so that till the entire duration it actually changes the position right so now by the end of this position, the position should change to the middle, right? So let's drag the character. We can actually drag him like this into here, right? And now if we play, we can see that it actually moves. So there you are. So it slides in, right? Now what we need to do is that we need him to walk actually. So what we'll do is that instead of wave, we will change this action on this right hand side. You can find the action. So just go over there, click on the action. And then you need to just select walking, right? And then if we just play it, say from here, now let's play it and see. Wow, it appears brilliantly, right? Now we need to add action. Like now this guy will actually wave towards you and they will tell you something, right? So we will select the character. And on the right hand side, as you can see, action, we will add a new action. So just click on add new. And then we'll select wave maybe, right? So just click on wave. And now if we just play the animation, just play it over here. You can see walking in, turns, waves, perfect, right? So now if you want actually him to talk something, say anything you want him to talk, then again, we will just go over to the add new. That is, we'll add an action. And this time we will make him talk. So just click on talking. So if we play this animation now, you can see that the guy starts talking, right? So now if we play the animation totally, you can see the guy comes in, turns, waves, and then he starts talking. So the moment he starts talking, what we can do is that we can actually give a voiceover. So right from here, he starts talking. So what we'll do is that we'll go over to media and then we can either use text to speech or if we want to record our own voice we can just click on audio recording as well that's up to you if you want to use your own voice you can record your voice or you can use the text to speech that is inbuilt so i will use the text to speech hi there this is shyan right just for example and then you need to change the voiceover. You just can select any voice you like. My particular favorite is this male seven. And I usually use the speed 1.2. That's the one that suits me. You can play around and suit what and choose whatever you wish to. Then once done, you can just generate the speech. You can also preview the speech Hi there. so that this you is can Zion. hear this. And once you are happy with it, you can just click on import. And you can see it has been imported. So now you can just drag it onto the scene and it will be dragged at exactly where your cursor was. So you can see it has been added exactly at that time, right? So that's how cool things are. And basically that's how you animate. That's how I had done the animations. Now you can go ahead and add unlimited actions to it because it supports unlimited length of videos. It supports unlimited export of video. You can create unlimited videos with it. That's the best thing because in Animaker, in Powtoon, whatever you are working on, you give monthly fees, yet you are not able to export unlimited videos. I was literally frustrated using those tools until I found this amazing tool. So now if we play this and if we see how it works, then you can see the guy walks in, turns around, waves, and right from here, Hi he there. starts talking. So now let me add a few twists in here. Let me assume that when he starts talking, I want to actually zoom in, zoom into his face, maybe just for example, so I can bring it to live as well. So for that, all that I need to do is go over to this components. Don't worry, there is a full tutorial available. There is a great YouTube support channel that they have from where you can learn anything and everything. I know you might be feeling a little overwhelmed with the kind of functionality that it has, but then you are not going to use all of them. And probably if you are going to use all of them, 
you can easily use them because it's very very well documented and anybody can use all of these stuff don't worry at all with that being said i just need to drag this camera in here now by default the camera should actually occupy the entire canvas as you can see over here right now at any moment if i want the camera to actually work all that i need to do is right click on this camera line over here as you can see this camera icon has appeared so all that we need to do is right click in here and click on add animation and you can see a camera object has appeared now i'll show you how to work with this camera object so first let me just uh, decrease the duration now this duration will actually determine how fast this camera actions take place if you are not getting it don't worry i am going to explain everything so if we want to add anything on this camera we just need to move the cursor out of the camera just like this and in here we will drag this camera and let's just focus on the face maybe so yeah okay so we are uh, focusing on the face and the hands right so what we have tried to do is that now it will zoom in into the face and the hands of this guy so let's again play this let's take a preview hi there there this you go so i hope you understood like in here it was the entire one hi and there. then it zooms in that's how it works so it works perfectly now if we want to actually make this duration even shorter so the zoom in will appear even faster if i now preview Hi there. this you can this see is... shoom, zoom in right now in the same way you can zoom out as well but before zooming out i want to show you another great feature that it has right click in here click on add animation again a camera has been added now again we will actually make it a little smaller one thing to remember whenever working with camera you just need to go out of this camera object before actually editing this camera angle now it has given you this rotation of camera as well so for this you just need to go over till the corner of the edges and you can find that this little rotating icon appears now let us rotate this just like this so we have a 360 camera rotation going on now so now let us see the magic so again play hi there this is cyan okay so if you didn't get it let's do it again hi there this is cyan so I think it's happening a bit faster so that you are really not being able to understand. So Hi there. let us do this it. Is oh, there you go. That's kind of cool stuff, right? So you can see again, Hi let there. us play. This is Cyan. Wow. Amazing. Now after this, maybe we want to zoom out. So again, just click on this, add animation, and then you can drag this camera as well. And, uh, let, and after this, just go ahead and click on expand camera this will actually take the entire canvas so if we now actually take a preview hi there this is cyan there you are so it actually zooms in then the hi camera there. rotates this is and then it rotates and zooms out this can really engage your audience right so that's the kind of thing and this was one of the effects that i had used on the opener that you saw so i Make sure that you get to know how to work with this. So I'm not going into further details of it. You can understand, you can make this camera work for you. You can actually add any kind of animation to your characters. You can make the character walk, run, talk, call over phone, work on PC. You can do whatever with them you want to. So that's the kind of cool thing they have. Now, once we have done with the camera, we can just click on exit camera and you can see we are getting the screen again. Now, if we want to publish this anytime, we just need to click on publish and then we can publish this as MP4 video. We can have a quality which is which can be even 4K or HD or anything that you want to ultra HD. All of these are available over here. Now, with that being said, I just want to show you a few more features that it has. You can easily add text to it. So for that, again, go over to studio, then go over to all. And in here, if you go down over here, you can find titles. Now, these are all animated typography that you can see. You can just go ahead, edit them in whatever ways you want to. There are a ton of templates that you can edit and you can write whatever you want to. Now, this kind of gives you kinetic animations within the videos as well. Apart from that, you can use different effects that are there like fire effects. There are different electric effects, line effects, all of them. You can use different doodle elements. You can have these doodle characters over here, doodle effects, transitions, everything as well. Now, again, let's go back. And in here, you can find all these scroll stoppers as well. If you want to use them anytime, you can do that as well. You can have this scroll stopper effects as well. Like if you want bubbles to come up or firecrackers within your uh, video you can do that as well that's up to you you can add different shapes social media stickers titles and 
transitions as well. Now, I'm really not going to go through all of that over here because that is really going to waste your or mine time in that. All that I wanted to show you is how easy it is to create 3D animated videos using this simple tool. And I really hope that you are really able to follow this tool. Now, apart from this, it also has a great feature that it has enabled in its current version. That is called the wobble heads. So if we go over to all and then if we go over to characters and then we go over to bobble heads, you can see these are all different characters who are there without their head. The concept here is that you can actually cut out a piece of face of anybody that you wish to, your own face. It can be a celebrity's face, whomever face you want to. And then you can add it to these bobble heads, right? And all of these bobble heads have different actions. So you can actually have an animated video where you actually appear in the screen. That's how powerful this new feature is. With that being said, that's for another day. I will show you how to do that as well. I will cover it in another video. I really don't want this video to be too elongated. And just another thing that I wanted to mention is that with the same tool, you can go ahead and actually create 2D animation as well. You can see all of these are 2D characters with 2D backgrounds that there are. So you can actually go ahead and create your 2D animation videos with this same tool as well. So if that sounds interesting and if you are really interested in getting this tool, then I'll leave a link in the description. Normally, if you go over to the Create Studio Pro sales page, then if you scroll down over here, you can see uh, there are all the different features that it has. Everything is written over here. So you can go through this at your own time. But what I'm really interested to show you is that if you click on buy now, it actually comes at $199 a year, right? The basic version without the template club. But I do have an offer for you wherein you can grab this tool at a one-time price for a lifetime deal. You never need to pay again. But that is a limited time deal. I'm not quite sure how long it is going to be available, but I had fought with the vendor to actually grab this deal just for you that is my subscriber so that you can get this amazing amazing tool at a limited one time price again i'm not quite sure how long this is going to stay there so if you are watching this video after a long time and if the deal is gone then it's gone probably i can't do anything about it <laughs> With that being said, I'll leave a link in the description, which will always give you the best deal. Currently, it's giving you the lifetime deal. If you go over to that link in my description and follow that link and come over here, then if you go over to buy now, then you can see it's opening up a lifetime offer where you are going to get it at a lifetime price of $67 only. Now, remember again, this is a lifetime deal that you are going to get. So there is no paying over again. And this is something that is specially for my subscriber and it's going to be available only via the link in the description. With that being said, there are going to be some additional tools that you are going to get as a bonus from me as well. So just remember to email the purchase receipt on our email ID. I'll leave our email ID in the description below so that once you make a purchase, just send over the purchase receipt to us and we will send you 50 additional software that you can use for your business as well. But that being said, it brings me to an end of this tutorial where I had shown you how you can create 3D character animation videos with zero technical expertise in less than 10 minutes. If you have loved watching this video, then please help me with a like and share it with your friends so that they also get to know how easy it is to create 3D character animation videos without any expertise. And if this is the first time that you are into this channel, then please consider subscribing to this channel because here in this channel, I give away this kind of real secret tutorials where I teach you how to do different things that can help you making money online. With that being said, we'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet. Until then, please take care of yourself and your families. And don't forget to learn new skills, upgrade yourself and make money online. Signing off is Shyam. Take care. Bye-bye.